I'm Erica Kennedy and I play Associate Principal First Violin with Orchestra Victoria. My name is Yi Wang and uh, I'm the Deputy Council Master of OV. My name is Lawrence Matheson. I've been playing with Oxford Victoria for about eight years in sort of many different capacities. E and I get to work very hard and have a lot of fun with the Schnitka Concerto Grosso Number no. One, which is written for two solo violins and keyboard. Um, I'm really excited about this program because I actually get to play three different keyboard instruments. Uh, in the Schnitka, I'll be playing prepared piano and harpsichord, and in the Shostakovich, I'm playing Celeste. So the Schnitka we're performing is a concerto grosso which calls for a prepared piano, which is um, where you take foreign instruments, foreign objects, in this case coins, and put them inside the strings of the piano to create a different timbre or um, sound world. In this case, Schnitka calls for it to sound like church bells. He calls for just the um, upper register of the piano. The Lower register of the piano is exactly as you would find every other piano. The upper register of the piano is prepared by inserting coins into the strings to create this sort of honky-tonk, ethereal, out-of-tune effect. Schnitka really, he, in order to earn a living through composition, he wrote film music. So a lot of that music was very over the top in terms of character, popular, very entertaining. Um, and then he would sort of contrast that with his serious compositions. But in this Schnitka Concerto Grosso, you hear him really deliberately trying to dismantle the boundaries between this really light, fun, almost sort of silly, although he would question that term, um, music with the more serious composition. They call uh, Schnitka the, um, what's it called? Pose the child of, um, polystylism. He composed so many uh, pieces combined with different style, different form of music. Rock, pop, um, classical. There's so much in it, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, and direct quotes. I mean, he's quite cheeky. There's direct yes. quotes from the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto. Mm -hmm. There's direct quotes from Brahms' Hungarian Dance Number no. 5. And the Corelli, I would think, Baroque stuff. A lot yeah. of Corelli and some yeah. Vivaldi. So a harpsichord is um, sort of like the oldest version of the piano. I feel like in this case, Schnitka's using harpsichord as a bit of a throwback because he's written this concerto grosso, which is a very old form used by sort of Corelli and other Italian masters, but he's sort of wrenching it thoroughly into the 20th, 20th century with all the things that he makes the harpsichord do. I think it's it's a great opportunity for the public to see us on stage, how, how good looking we are, so. Hanson Dyer Hall is a really lovely, intimate space, isn't it? So yeah. I think the audience are up close and personal and um, it really, there's no barrier between audience and, and performer. So we're all there just experiencing this crazy, amazing music all together. And it's great fun to play in there. The acoustic is fantastic. Mm. We really enjoy playing there. Mm.